that's a great question. Yeah, that's a great question. When we get rattled, how do we stay cool yeah. so we can stay on message and stay on in direction? Well, you have to kind of decide what you're aiming at, you know, and, and I mean in a fundamental sense, because <clears throat> that helps you stay oriented. You know, I'm not trying to bring excess damage into the world. And so partly what you do is when you're attacked is you, you can defend yourself with minimal necessary force. And I really mean it's a real art to use minimum force and it works way better. It's a way more effective form of defense. And so, like I didn't let what he said go unopposed. I said that there to him that there was no excuse to bring, like he can call me a mean, mad man, that's fine because maybe it's true, and he's certainly entitled to that opinion, but to add white to that just seemed to bring an arbitrary element of racism in, and so that's what I said, and that was a good enough defense. But also in those public fora, um, it doesn't hurt at all to let people expose their agenda. And mm -hmm. so if you're attacked, you think, well, is this a good thing or a bad thing? It's like, well, it's, it's an awkward thing, and it can be an aggravating thing, but it isn't necessarily a bad thing to let people who are attacking you for unwarranted reasons, reveal their full agenda. You can see their weapons then. Yeah, well, yeah, and you, that, well, and you can see, you can see them. Right. It's like, okay, well, what are you up to attacking me? Well, it's because you're bad. It's like maybe go on with your attack. Right. Well, maybe it has now nothing just, to do with me. Right. Now and you're so, learning a lot about me. Yes. That's the question: is who is this attack? Who is this attack about? Well, maybe it's about me. Maybe it's about you. Yeah. And so if that's public, it's like I'm willing, to the degree that I can manage this, I'm willing to, to allow the attacks to progress because I think, I'm hoping, that they might be about the attacker and not about me. Hmm. You know, and, and it's, it's a hairy game in some sense, a high-stress game, because there are things about me, you know, because no one's perfect, that's yeah. for sure. And so some of the punches land, but... But most of the time, and this has happened over and over again, it's like, no, the attacks reveal more about the attacker than me. Yeah. And so that's been good. And so then that's a strange thing. It's like, well, what, why should I be thinking that this attack is bad? It's uncomfortable. It's stressful and all of that. But some of the th best things that have happened to me, let's say over the medium to long run in the last two years, have emerged directly from the most vicious and unwarranted attacks. Mm. It's like, well, no, they didn't use knives, so that's good because right, you right. don't recover from that. <laughs> you know, so I, I know there's a limit to this sort of argumentation. When you, uh, it's, it, it, I liken that it's similarly in comedy. Sometimes I, I used to think it's always me saying stuff that is the funniest or can build up the most uh, credibility with the audience. But now I'm realizing it's almost times when I'm silent mm -hmm. that um, r reveals more about the story sometimes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's a little bit of an inverse mm. of what you're saying. Well, kind of, a judicious but, use of mm. silence is quite helpful, you know. And right, but I never thought of that as like being something that would reveal anything. Mm -hmm. Right. Whereas right. you would never think if somebody attacks you, sitting in silence or, you know, minimal response. Yep. Um, you're, being the most effective response. Right, because retaliation, that's yeah. not even, that's retaliation. Yeah. It's not even, uh, it's well, so unorganized. Well, and the thing is you do have, you, you do have the right and maybe even the responsibility to defend yourself. But the question is, well, what's the most effective defense? And it's sort of like when you're disciplining children, it's like, well, how much force do you use? The minimum necessary, the absolute minimum necessary. Now that takes a lot of judicious um, interaction. It takes mm -hmm. a lot of judgment to get that absolutely right. But it's the same in a public forum. It's like, well, how hard should I defend myself? Well, it turns out, my experience has taught me over and over minimum necessary force. And so it's probably even better. Well, it's not better to err on the side of less force. You don't want to err at all. But little detachment, little patience, a little faith in the judgment of the audience. That's mm. the other thing. It's like, that's because that's the other thing I think is like, if this, if this, everything plays out, then people will make the right judgment. Right. Not everyone. Of course, not everyone, not everyone. But, but wisdom will prevail, right? That's what I think. I'm willing to, I'm willing to see if that's the case, willing to assume that that will be the case.